What is going on SoFi fans? Welcome back to Financial Journey. So today I want to talk to you about the news that just came out about the student debt and what that truly means for SoFi and its investors. I'm going to go over all of that information, but before I do, making sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe is always greatly appreciated. With that though, let's get right to it. Live ticker is going at the very bottom. So the market has tentatively closed, actually I should say. It did end 4.54% up. After hours, it's doing fairly well, but 111 million shares being traded today, 45 the average, and 20.9 million shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market. So very active day for SoFi, and you can even see, based on the intraday chart, a lot of volatility. But overall, fairly positive for SoFi. So based on this news, they are extending it up until January 2023, which again, based on the Q2 earnings, is exactly what SoFi did project, saying that our outlook also assumes that the federal student loan payment moratorium will last until January 2023. So definitely hats off to you, Anthony, you uh, called this, but there's a little bit more of a breakdown. So hypothetically, it says so forgiving debt. So 10,000 if you didn't receive any Pell Grants, 20,000 if you went to college on Pell Grants. And it ultimately does say that you have to earn less than 125,000. And like I said, it is being extended up until December 31st, 2022. So at the end of the day, that is very positive. Clearly, a lot of people are very mixed on that. Hypothetically, it's already going out saying that every single person on average is going to equivalently pay two thousand dollars for all of this debt to be cancelled so that might be a little bit more of a negative broadly but good for sofi but still i'm very happy with all of this but at the end what does this mean for sofi and so i'm just going to go right here because it does say pre-pandemic on average it did say that the average loan was around seventy thousand. so roughly about 15 percent is going to be forgiven slash cancelled wherever you want to call it that so 15 percent. so what does this ultimately mean for sofi and also us as investors investors. Well, leading into this, it was estimated between 35 to 50 million every single quarter SoFi was going to lose out on potential revenue by them extending it. So the fact that it's being extended until December 31st, we do lose out on a little bit, but in the grand scheme of things, it's very beneficial. And like I said, roughly about 15% of the average loan value for SoFi's customers is going to be forgiven. So equivalently, that can be broken down between that, like I mentioned, 35 to 50 so arguably between 5 to roughly about 12 million dollars every single quarter is now going to be lost forever uh, for SoFi so again though that's still very positive that's just one of those scenarios that you have to look at is the glass half full or is it half empty personally I think that it's a good thing that we now know and can get a little bit more revenue starting um, equivalently I believe it is going to be for Q1 2023 that's when it's all going to kick in so when it comes down to in April or May whenever we we disclose our Q1 numbers, that is going to incorporate now student debt. So again, that is going to be epic for SoFi, adding to the bottom line, making SoFi look better than it already does. So I'm very excited about the short term stuff. And like I said, as well, on the live ticker at the very bottom, 20.9 million shares being purchased by institutions on the secondary market. Similar action is being said on the dark pool. So as of right now, just after hours, there was a $4.86 million trade a one million dollar trade and almost today there's been 250 transactions on the dark pool purchasing sofi which is mind-blowing and especially looking here this is all the transactions so far from just today alone and at the beginning of the day you could tell it was going to start off very good so even after hours yesterday it was at 2.02 so clearly someone knew something ahead of the game but outside of that though 1.65 million 1.67 million 1 million 1.6 Six, eight, one million. So there's been a lot of big transactions today, all behind the scenes showing that SoFi is going to do a lot of good things. Even looking at the options activity as well for today, a lot of call options. So it clearly there's a huge anticipation. This is just the start of something big. So next stop is going to be $7, $8, and then eventually just $10. Keep in mind, I'm not a financial advisor or a guru or anything like that. This is only for entertainment purposes. But looking on the actual chart, 
chart, we did a hell of a lot of good things. Unfortunately, not enough to get over this 100 day moving average, but still we got over the dreaded 50 day moving average. And I've always stressed how important that is in the grand scheme of things. Even stochastic still currently at eight. So it is very, very oversold, but you do see the start of a nice bullish trend starting to form the black line above the red number of buyers, uh, retail investors, I should call them on the momentum indicator is going up. So that's always a good thing. And stochastic is currently at 45. So given all the circumstances, I think it is a exciting time to be in SoFi. And like I said, this is just the tip of the iceberg. So right now is a good time to add in my own two cents on how I see things. But with all that, let me know your thoughts on SoFi in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts as well on this student debt. Do you think in general, they should have extended it, just eliminated the potential for giving debt and, and just extended it maybe six months instead? I know there's a lot of different scenarios rolling around, but let me know your thoughts on all that in the comments below. With all that, I appreciate you guys watching and let's all make a lot of money on SoFi.